Now that we've created all the shapes that we're going to need, it's time to start adding some action script. And we're not going to add it on keyframes. Instead, we're going to write it all in the document class. To create a document class, simply use the selection tool, click anywhere on the stage, and then click properties. And right here where it says class, give your document class a name. We're going to call it Pong. And then click the little pencil here that's right next to the namespace. It says here that a definition of document could not be found, so Flash will automatically generate one for us. We'll just click OK. Now click this again. So Flash has automatically created the package for us and the public class and the constructor function. First, we're going to need to import a lot of stuff. First thing to do is to save this in the same place that we've saved our uh, FLA file. So hit Ctrl S to save. Save mine and here. Yep, that was here. Okay, save. Now we need to import some stuff first. Import flash dot events dot mouse events and import flash dot events dot keyboard event again import flash dot events dot accelerometer event now import flash dot ui dot keyboard and import flash dot ui dot multi touch Import flash dot UI dot multi touch input mode import flash dot system dot system now up here import flash dot display dot stage stage and import flash what's this import flash dot display dot native menu again a lot of import statements bear with me here import flash dot display dot native menu item and import flash dot display dot native window go down import flash dot desktop dot system system idle mode okay great now import flash dot sensors dot Oops, dot accelerometer semicolon. Last but not least, import flash dot utils dot timers. And thank God that is all. Good start. There is just one more that we forgot, which is. For the events right here, 
import slash dot event dot timer event. There it is. So hopefully those are all the import statements that we're gonna need. Now to save this and let's start thinking what are we gonna need and how to accomplish it. First we need this to display the moment we start the game and to disappear when we start playing. So we need to import it and export it or import it, sorry, and export it to the stage by using ActionScript. We've learned how to do that previously, so we'll simply give this a linkage name right here, double click, and we can call this uh, welcome. It's more, it's more uh, preferably that the instance name begins with an uppercase letter. Okay, so now we need to use this or import this using ActionScript. So first we need to encapsulate it in a variable. So private variable, we call it welcome screen. It's of type welcome equal to a new welcome. Okay, now that we've added this, let's assume that we've added this on the stage now. We need to add event listeners to this button right here and this button, which I haven't yet given instance names of. Let's call this touch and we'll call this one ACC. Okay, so inside our constructor function, we'll write welcome screen dot touch dot add event listener. going to be a mouse event dot click then we'll call the function play with a or play with touch okay and again welcome screen dot acc dot add event listener mouse event dot click play with acc okay we have added event listeners but we haven't added the welcome screen on the stage yet so we need to like this and welcome screen or stage dot add child welcome screen okay and set the X and the Y of the welcome screen welcome screen dot X equals stage dot stage width over two and welcome screen dot y equals stage dot stage height over two Okay, now we've added the welcome screen on the stage, set the X, set the Y, and added event listeners for the welcome screen. Now what we'll need to do is to animate the ball, and we've learned how to do that using 
timers and enter frame events. We're going to use timers for this example because I believe they're easier to control. So we'll need to add a timer for the ball and add an event listener for this timer and set the X and Y uh, or the speed of the ball using the timer. So first we'll create a variable, private variable, we'll call it ball anim for animation timer it's of type timer equal to a new timer. We'll make this set off every five milliseconds. Oh you no, know let's make it ten. Yeah. Now here inside our constructor function we'll add an event listener for this animation timer. Make this an up uh, lowercase v. Okay. So ball anim timer dot add event listener listener timer event dot timer we start a function called start ball anime we'll also know we also know that we have to set boundaries for the player himself so he can't go beyond this line or beyond this line so we can what we can do is to create a timer that constantly checks for the x position of the player and makes sure that he uh, doesn't go off stage so we can create a new private variable call this player timer just type timer equal to a new timer make this fire off every 10 milliseconds as well and here we can add the event listener for this timer Dot add event listener timer event dot timer and we'll call the function set player border. I'm pretty sure that's spelled wrong, but I'm going with it. Okay. 